Howdy all of you delicious people, I'm here today to view the Puppet Masters from 1994, or the Puppet Masters, the alien one. So, my main intrigue about wanting to go on and see this movie is simply because a movie called The Faculty goes on and references it. But not only that, like, I like movies like The Invasion of the Body Snatchers or The Hidden, where you don't really know, like, who is the villain and who is the bad guy until the uh, the bad guy finally reveals himself. And then it's like, oh, okay, all right, the fight is on. So, like, that I thought was really interesting to me. Like, the whole, like, uh, you're not quite sure, you can't trust anyone kind of element of this film. So, I honestly was to go on and just have fun even though i thought certain parts of this movie was goofy still had fun with it like the opening sequence i was like okay what is going on here i was a little confused or i was a little baffled by it uh but so other than that like after we once we start to really get to like the tv studio i'm like man this movie really picks up we also just have a lot of science that is to be said in this film, like a bunch of jargon that I'm like, okay, we could have gone without having to state all of this stuff, but I get it. Like, there's something that uh, needs to just stretch out this movie, and if you just rarely had dialogue, then uh, a lot of times it would just be, like, uh, these action sequences. So... Going on in this film, I like how we just continue to escalate the whole invasion angle where it even gets so close to like getting to Secret Service agents, getting to the president, going on and have us even have like some of the main characters ending up uh, getting infected at certain points and becoming one of them. And so... Really, I thought that this movie was going to go in uh, one or two directions. Like, I assumed that it was probably going to go in, like, the fifth wave direction, where you would come to find out that uh, the people who are thinking that uh, these are to now be our enemies, like, I was to think that they could have kind of shifted it to have all of a sudden us realize that we're killing our own kind. That would have been an interesting way to go about this movie. Uh, I think also, like, I think there needed to uh, be, like, something bigger by the end of the film. Because I think by the end of it, we have this big sequence, but, like, really, like, they should have ended it with the whole, like, alien, uh, like, hive thing. They should have ended it there instead of just, like, oh, no, we got to do one more thing. And so they really should have gone on and tried to figure out a way to, like, make the biggest ending possible. But it is what it is. So also... Mary, it seems, in this movie, is to be a girl that you're going to go on and just be like, mm-hmm, just look up and down. Like, ooh, look at her looks. Because even that's what the movie is to tell you. It's like that Mary is just eye candy. But in all honesty, I think the book was to write that even more so than this movie does. Because Mary also is set up as... Uh, a woman from NASA and she is to uh, kind of have this background in studies of alien theory and stuff like that so they do give her like a whole backstory and uh, they do like make her very intelligent which I do like uh, but the whole just her needing to like oh let me drop a pencil so I can pick it up and ooh -hoo. Like, that I thought was just kind of dumb. But so, with that said, I think I've gone on and kind of as much as possible tried it in a roundabout way uh, talk about this movie. 
Uh, so our aliens are to come off as these kind of stingray slug-like things that um, in some ways might feel like the Marvel character Venom where it latches on uh, to a host and then takes complete control. And so, yeah. So with that said, I think I'm just going to go on into spoilers because there's not much for me to go on and really just tee up here because at some point the infestation of these aliens just really escalate and so yeah so really it's just kind of going through scene to scene to scene to scene instead of really just uh figuring out a way to perfectly uh put together this movie and have some kind of uh like story of how i can kind of summarize this film so with that said, uh, this movie is to be a okay film. Um, I liked it. It was fun. Uh, it was goofy, but it was fun. So really, I think this movie is available for like $3.99 uh, through, of course, Amazons and, and YouTubes and whatever. But I'm going to go on and give you a free option by listing a number of apps. You can dare, in fact, find this movie for absolutely free. So the first app that I'm going to go on and recommend for people to go on and use, of course, is to be Doxy. D-O-X-C-Y. And, of course, apps after that would, of course, be Play UHD. Uh, Play UHD is to be available on the Google Play Store. And so when you go on and make your way to this uh, Google Play Store and search these words, you're going to find an app where the logo ends up saying Fox HD Movies. Go ahead and click on that app, download it, and you should be able to see a number of films. Not quite sure if it'll be Puppet Masters, but it may be uh, a number of other things. You can also go on to an app called 123 Movies. And so at some point, 123 Movies is kind of uh, goofy. Which one do you have to like find that works perfectly? Because some of the 123 Movies either don't work as far as servers or don't work as far as you being able to access the content. But at some point, you'll go on and find the right one that does work. And then you should probably be able to watch a number of movies. Not quite sure if it'll be the Puppet Masters, but it might be whatever. Uh, you can also go on to Yes Movies. There might be an equivalent of this or like something may possibly just work out. Uh, you can go through a Google search and, or, and also find Yes Movies through that. So anyways, that's really it i'm just gonna go on and just uh spoil this movie so let's go on to that double five time territory because it's about that time yet again to just go into spoiler times full of time it's about that time again to spoil this movie so in the beginning of this film the thing that i end up end up getting kind of a little confused about so we have this kid who ends up taking this bike making his way to his other two friends that are throwing around this metal object that looks like a frisbee. And so the kid is asking the other two, like, well, hey, like, I thought we were going to play football. And so they end up going on and dropping this metal item that is to somehow react to the fact that it is dropped into water. And so now all of a sudden, I think we end up seeing this invisible spaceship that is to also just drop down it's alien uh, eggs. So at some point people can start getting infected. Or it also is to drop down water. I'm not quite sure. But so we go on and have a person who is to spot this event. And is to go where the kids are to state like, well, hey, did you kids see what happened there? And... So all of a sudden we have these kids who end up knocking this guy out to at some point get infected uh, by this stingray slug-like alien. So 
We then turn around and are to have uh, Andrew, Jarvis, and Mary all going on to pick up Sam and make their way to do this investigation on this alien spacecraft or whether or not it's legit. So we have Sam who goes on and talks to Mary, who is to mention that she's from NASA and that at some point she is to be dealing with alien theory. So we have our characters go on to this supposed alien ship landing and come to find out everything that this alien craft was made out of seems like it was taken from uh like some home supplies like you can you can tell like there was like siding being put on uh to this alien ship but looks pretty decently good so because come to find out these agents find this alien ship landing that these kids are trying to make money off of. So when Mary is to almost go into this ship, she then realizes that she's second guessing that and they decide not to. But come to find out one of the agents is already to be infected and we'll come to find out that it's Jarvis. So... When we go on and have these agents want to look into this TV studio, who it seems that these kids could not go on and pulled off what they were pulling off alone, that they obviously needed help. And so they end up going on to this TV studio to state that uh, they think that this TV studio helped out those kids and they're trying to cover it up. And when all of a sudden they end up talking to this uh, this TV uh, executive is what I want to say. So not quite sure if that's the, the guy's actual role. But so... When they go on and talk to this man, it seems that Mary is trying to go on and use her feminine wild to see if this guy notices or see if he cares. Because Mary is to go on and state that any number of those kids should have gone on and tried to look up uh, or look down her shirt or anything like that. And... Because, of course, when Sam was to originally shake hands with Mary, she uh, was to notice that Sam was looking her up and down. And so Sam is like, I didn't really look at you like that, did I? And Mary's like, yes, you did. So, come to find out, Mary is to consistently test the fact. It's like, oh, hey, let me drop this pen and let me see if anybody notices and of course this guy doesn't so the Amelia like okay he's like he's infected so this TV executive is talking about uh, like these kids and this story and so on and so forth but then he goes on to whip out a gun and so Sam is trying to get him to drop the gun but he drops this guy instead shooting him multiple times and then it seems that the alien leaves its host it is to latch on to a number of items because it just weirdly like has this like tether like thing that it can just attach to certain items like as if it's weirdly enough like a spider-man alien <laughs> that is to go on and like tether its way uh to certain items so it like tethers itself to this cooler and then to this fan and is trying to latch on to one of the people but it doesn't work out so they go on and they try to electrify it with this thing and that's what kind of kills it off and so they shove it into this briefcase and they turn around and it's like okay let's try to get out of here come to find out they realize that a number of people are all infected via 
this studio and they end up finding fighting off random people throughout this studio lot to get the heck out of there they're fighting cameramen they're fighting all these people and that's when this movie really picks up i was like yeah this is pretty cool so everybody gets back in the car and so we have these guys driving along we have people like jumping onto the car trying to get at these people and like yeah we have the one kid who ends up like bashing his way through this windshield trying to grab onto people we consistently have donald sutherland who's playing andrew who is consistently telling people hey get him off the car get him out of the car push him away <laughs> and i thought that, that was so funny uh so they end up getting rid of all these people who are like just jumping onto this car so when they finally do get on this plane and make their way uh to their kind of headquarters they go on to give this alien to this dr graves and he is to start to like figure it out and so the whole thing of it is is that like it's too bad that this specimen was dead if they could have caught on and actually had a live specimen they could figure it out and uh try to realize how to defeat it but so they end up at first going on and dissecting it and that's when they tell us it's like oh well it's uh, like it's 60% brain tissue compared to humans, which are 5%. And so we have Dr. Graves who is just like boasting about this alien. It's like, wow, like this thing is so, uh, like it makes its host like, uh, stronger and, and this and that. So we have at one point where Keith David ends up coming in here, who was to go on to that alien ship to find that there was this like kind of underground thing uh that had been taken out of it that i guess originally was its hive but has since moved uh to other locations and so we end up finding out in this movie that a number of the, the hive locations end up being around water and so they end up finding out that it was like Des Moines uh, is where the hive was located, but we'll, we'll get to that. So we have Alex Holland, who of course is Keith David here, who is to have Dr. Graves talking about this alien. And Alex is like, well, like what does this guy just want to F this thing? Like what, what's going on here? So, come to find out Alex is to apologize to Dr. Graves about the statement he made, about the joke he tried to make here. So, Dr. Graves just like, oh, okay, just, whatever, just, just go away. So, we... So, we go on in this film, and are to start to realize that Jarvis has a uh, an ashtray right in front of him. And it seems with all the people that are smoking around him, Jarvis does not light up once. And Sam starts to notice that. It's like, well, hey, you're not smoking. That all of a sudden leads us to have immediately uh, realizing that Jarvis is to be an alien if we didn't already realize that because Jarvis does not go on and help Sam at all with the alien that is on the windshield like Jarvis just lets it happen and so that is that was kind of a giveaway thing also so Jarvis then is to run off through this facility and they end up tracking him down Sam does and by the time that all the others make their way to find sam sam is supposedly mentioned that the alien had gotten away and so 
we can also go on uh, and have everybody start to need to take off their shirts to showcase whether or not they are infected. So everybody groups up together, all the people that are working in that building, and they all start to take their shirts off, and they end up starting to get cleared. But then we end up having one woman telling Andrew, it's like, well, hey, you haven't taken your shirt off yet. And that just so happens to be the one woman who is actually infected. So she starts running off. And so that's when Sam tries to go on and catch her. And that's again when they state it's like, oh, the alien is gone. But Sam ends up going on to Jarvis's uh, hotel room to have this crate uh, that has to be opened. And it seems that Sam already knew that there was a crate in there. Hence why Sam was asking this hotel manager that he goes with to this room, like, well, hey, do you have a crowbar? And the guy is like, oh, no, I have a key to get in there. And come to find out, Sam is to find a crowbar in the room and he just opens his crate and asks for the hotel manager to help him. So, Sam is to open up this crate to find all these alien eggs in there. Or these aliens that are kind of just cocooned into these balls. And so Sam goes on and picks one up and tosses it onto this hotel manager for him to go on and get infected. Because Sam is infected. So... We now have Sam who is taking all of these aliens and making his way to the Secret Service to infect a guy named uh, Hawthorne and then in turn having all of these Secret Service agents trying to get to the president to try and infect him also. We have Andrew that ends up coming in with a number of his men and women to try to fort the alien uh, getting or the aliens getting to the president. So we luckily have a point where they almost get there and Andrew is to shoot all of these people and then save the president. And the pre president's like, hey, what is going on here? So... They go on and they have to relay this to the president about what's going on. So, that then leads Sam to desperately try and run off to avoid getting captured or killed here. But, what ends up happening is, is that they end up grabbing Sam and taking him and they end up doing experiments on him and Andrew is to go on and ask him questions. So we have the hotel manager who ends up kind of walking off. It's like, okay, I'm going to get out of here. Cause obviously like the president is a mission that we can't win. So uh, like the hotel managers just continues to infect a mass number of people over and over and over again and have the aliens breed and come up with other uh, aliens and so on and so forth. So we have Andrew who is talking to Sam and whenever Sam's alien is to not want to give answers or is to just kind of make uh, Andrew more upset having to go on and hurt his own son or possibly kill his own son, they continue to electrify Sam. And the alien goes on and tells Andrew, it's like, like, are you willing to risk killing your son just to, like, get an answer from me? And so, come to find out, they had figured out a way to detach or 
the alien ended up getting detached from Jarvis, and Jarvis ends up taking his own life uh, because some people like can't deal with uh, the alien no longer like being without them. And so when Sam ends up going through and detaching this alien from his body as the alien ends up running off and they end up going on to finding it and they end up uh, start putting this alien into chimpanzees and they start to figure out things. We have Sam who is going through withdrawals from being tied to this alien. And so Andrew starts asking Sam about his time being with the alien. If it, uh, he learned anything, if there was any memories that this thing had. And so Sam was to go on and find out that all these aliens are just all one like thing. It has its own like hive mind kind of thing. So like it's all one. It's all the same. Uh, kind of like Starro in a way. So Sam is to go on and talk to Andrew about the aliens and and how like he feels that he wants to get reconnected again with all the aliens and so but Sam is to just get so exhausted that Andrew is like no Sam like go on and just just rest just sleep uh like we'll go on and like we'll ask him more questions later so Mary is to want to just check on Sam and come to find out Sam is in the shower room and he's blubbering to himself about uh, how he feels that the thing is still on him. He's still being hosted by this thing. And Mary is convincing him. It's like, oh no, like you're not like, you don't have this thing on you. Like it's okay. Like you're okay. Like you're, you're going to be back to your normal self. And so that leads to both just Sam and Mary who, while Sam is completely naked. Sam and Mary are to kiss in the shower. And it doesn't lead to anything else more than that. But so. We. Of course go on to. After Sam has kind of taken some time away. Sam is to then go back into. Uh, witness them experimenting like Dr. Graves is experimenting on chimpanzees and like kind of see how this alien thing is starting to spread through chimpanzees even to the point where also these chimpanzees are typing words into this keyboard and come to find out the words are to ask it's like do you miss me Sam because of course the same uh alien that was attached to Sam is also to be attached to this chimpanzee. So that's why it's like, uh, he wrote that. So Sam is to be, of course, very put off by that. But so we go on to then find out that certain sections of the military and everything like that are starting to get infiltrated. We have a guy who, of course, is General Morgan, who is kind of setting up his own base of operations. And we have a guy named Captain Early that comes into Morgan's base of operations and starts to infect people and so we have a point when Morgan is talking to Andrew and they're having a conference between one another and Andrew is saying like you know Morgan you need to take off your shirt 
because like I want to make sure that you're not infected. And so Morgan's like, well, like, sure, yeah, I'll go on and I'll do that. So by the time that he takes off the shirt, all of a sudden the connection is cut off. And it's like, yep, like he's infected. So they find out that like all of their uh all of their military is now infected. And they also are to realize like how quickly this is all to spread, how it seems that they all go on in this massive group and surround one person to infect them. And so that's how all of this is just working or working out. So to where this person easily gets infected. So we turn around to have Sam and Mary who are to go on and just need some, some time away. And we have Sam that convinces Mary to just kind of come to his place. And it's all of a sudden, if they've already kissed before, this leads to a more intimate moment as they get to know one another. And Sam is to go on and talk about his past and how Sam, after his mother died, was left with his father. And his father, of course, every day felt like boot camp. And Andrew used to give Sam like quarters or whatever every time Sam would go on and be quiet and so Mary is asked Sam it's like well like how much money did you make and Andrew was like 12 bucks so it's like mm, made a pretty good killing I guess so Sam was at some point just to wait for Andrew to just go on and like say something to him but that never happened. So like Sam just never went on and never talked. So Mary ends up going on to becoming intimate with Sam and come to find out as Mary is to go on and take off her shirt. We then realize that she is infected and wants to try to go on and infect Sam, but it doesn't work out. So Sam is to get this uh, this fire poker and is to try to go on and ward off Mary from attacking him. But Mary's like, oh, like, you like this girl, and so you're not going to go on and try to kill her. And so that's my advantage, that you like this girl. So... But that leaves Mary to just be like, well, I'm going to go on and I'm just going to like hurt myself anyways. So Mary goes crashing through this window and is to fall onto this car and is to run off. Mary is to, to get away. And Sam is looking out this window and is like, OK, well, she's infected now. I have to figure out a way to go on and like reverse that. So we have sam that is to go on and team up with alex and once they figure out that all of these hive locations are to of course be tied to water they figure out that it's des moines that is to be the the next hive spot from all of these infections and so they head there and they find out where this hive is and so we also have Alex that is to see there's a time where one of these army men are to be infected and so Alex kind of like bashes him and kills him uh, and so Alex is mentioned like, well, hey, like if I become one of those, kill me now. So Sam and Alex go to this hive and Alex is just kind of waiting in the wings. So Sam goes on and puts his hand up to have this door open. 
so Sam makes his way through, and I think the only reason why this really works is because Sam at some point was infected, so, like, there's still maybe some leftover signs of Sam still having certain kind of accesses and whatever. So, Sam goes on into the ship, or into the, the hive, and is to find that there's a bunch of people just kind of all standing around. And so Sam is to kind of start to hear like thousands of voices all kind of pinging into his brain. And that, of course, is when Sam ends up seeing Mary, who is also experiencing this. So we go on to have Sam who is to toss these grenades into this hive to cause an explosion. And then he runs off to grab Mary and cattle prods her. Uh, so that way the alien will let her go. So Mary is to have gotten memories from the alien. And so she realizes that there are certain people that they kind of keep off to the side that they can't actually infect but so they're just kind of keeping them and sealing them and come to find out there's a whole reason for this one kid being the way he is because he has a brain illness uh it's easily treatable it's just the fact that uh like this illness is to affect the human brain and so come to find out this ends up being the one way that they can beat these aliens they can infect them all and then one alien can spread this one illness to the other because they're uh, they go on to like become a hive anyways so and they're all like connected so we go on to now have sam and mary running away from from all of these uh from all of these aliens and we had alex who also had made his way into this hive and he ends up getting infected uh by falling into this thing of water where all these uh where all of these slugs are, are grabbing on to him so sam mary and this kid are all running around uh to try to get to the roof of this so they can get picked up by a uh a guy named uh oops uh brand so we have at some point where sam is to have to face off against alex and try and kill him off here but we have mary and the little kid who goes into the helicopter and so sam joins them and is to fly off and so they tell them hey guys we have the cure like we can beat this thing and so once it does they then realize that this can of course now spread uh, that all of this can go on and kill all the aliens off. So this is kind of like War of the Worlds all over again. With the whole like, hey, one of these aliens end up getting sick. And then all of them get sick and they can't figure out how to beat it. So they die. So we also had Mary who was to come back for Sam. And turn a gun on Alex and start shooting into him. But so... By the end of this movie, they end up going back to the hive and realizing that, of course, now the hive is to be all in shambles. And so Andrew ends up kind of thumbing through some of the hive to kind of make sure that there isn't any last rem remnants of an alien and come to find out some things fall on top of him 
and they rush to see if Andrew's okay. And he's like, yeah, I just got kind of knocked down. But come to find out once Andrew is to quickly start walking away from all these people, they then realize that he's missing his cane. And so we have one of the military men giving this cane to Sam of like, hey, yeah, like uh, it seems that Andrew is to have forgotten his cane and like, oh, my God, he's infected. So Andrew has gone on to jump into this helicopter and take off. And so Sam is running after it and grabbing onto it and climbing into this helicopter to try to fight off his, uh, his infected father. So we have Andrew and we have Sam kind of fighting it off here. And so what really happens in this is we have Sam who pushes Andrew against uh, a part of uh, these electronics that are in this helicopter, and it starts to, uh, like, shock and electrify Andrew to get the alien to come off of Andrew to where Sam could go on and chuck uh, this alien from out of this helicopter to have him go right into this blade and then get killed off here. And so... Sam goes on and lands helicopter and Andrew is to be taken off of this ambulance and Andrew is to tell Sam it's like well hey like how about you and Mary just go off and just go on a date just fulfill a fantasy and just like call this all a wrap because all the aliens are now dead like what other jobs are you guys gonna really gonna do together so Finally, by the end of this, we then go on and have Sam, we have Mary, who just kind of walk off into the sunset as uh, we have uh, Andrew that explains that that was the last alien and like, well, we can't be sure about that. And Andrew's like, yeah, I can be sure because the alien told me so. Yeah, like, that's the last of it. And so, Andrew and Mary just walk off into the sunset, and, like, that's how they just end the film. Uh, so with that said, it's like, yeah, they could have ended it with the whole hive thing. Uh, but yeah, but other than that, I think I'm just gonna go on and get the heck out of here. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about the Puppet Masters, if you went out and saw this movie at some point. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to apologize. I probably really rushed through this review, but also when kind of looking about it, who knows if anybody really cares about this film. It's what I always would go on and state that more than likely, uh, no one's going to probably view this because like, what the f is this movie? Why would I care? Yada, yada, yada. Um, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> It'll be great if it does do a view or whatever, but I'm also going to get out of here because I'm fairly tired because uh, this is at like one of the tail end of my days. So goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.